some pretty good tea. I'm gonna put this down. Ayo, it's Mathanjan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, I, so last video, it was a paint with me in my studio and I thought why not show you guys like a little tour of my studio space today. Honestly, it's not all that great. I think it's more interesting because you never know what you're gonna find in here. Um, and yeah, so let's get to it. Uh, so I actually, uh, this is the print shop where I'm located in, and literally, look at all these flowers. Uh, not flowers, what am I talking about? <laughs> plants. My professor, like, has a ton of plants. I'm like, look at this. This is, like, goals right there. Alrighty, so we walk in, and this is what you're first gonna see. This is basically... A storage unit I'm not even joking there's there's a bunch of filing cabinets as you can see they're literally like everywhere originally last year last school year I shared a workspace with two other of my really close friends in school which would sit there and sit there I'm not gonna say their names cuz you know privacy is the thing but this is my original little work area. I still work there occasionally. Got some cute little, you know, my favorite piece that I have made personally. Got a little, a little, little pumpkin. My logo, except when I made that, I didn't realize that I did it backwards. So, you know, just, just invert it in your brain. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, so just like aesthetic stuff. I like, and then a nose. I have no clue why, but I just think it's funny that it's there, so. It feels a little empty right now, but, uh, oh, here's another thing I've never shown you guys. It's like a aesthetic little uh, collage thing that I made with my printmaking class. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. I, I um, took some magazines and it's just, oh, this is my favorite page right here. Simplicity, the power of. I flipped it around and I was like, ooh, snazzy. We have a cardboard collection because I've been drawing on a lot of cardboard lately, as you can as you can tell. Um, then we just kind of have like a setup for me imagining what my show is gonna look like. So I have that all set up and ready, just to like you know, imagine what it's gonna look like. So. This section I kind of took over. It's kind of just like my junk area where I set everything down. So, yeah. Nice. Obviously, my apron. Wear every single day. I don't wear anything different except for that when I'm working. And then, of course, the nice tabaret that I have gotten used to and I absolutely love. And right now at home, I don't have one. I prefer glass, for sure, because when I started out with oil paint, I had a wood one and it was terrible. I don't know how y'all mix oil paint and deal with wood, but I just, I prefer the glass for sure. Um, yeah, so everything's nice and locked and safe. Nice. So this is my main, like, painting area. Um, the school has these huge easels on wheels. And I freaking love them. Ugh. It makes things like moving, especially like since I work so large, like I can move things a lot easier in the future if I can get like my hands on one of these and like I get like a bigger studio hopefully in the future, like I'm gonna take it. I would love to take one home, but it's the schools. I'm, I'm not gonna be like that, even though nobody's using them except for me, but it's fine. All right, and then finally, all of my supplies with like canvases and stuff. Um, that's something new that I stretched not too long ago. I might be painting on it, I don't know. And then, oh, my books. Okay, I slowly have been collecting some books recently. 
Um, when I went on vacation, the Goodwills where we went on vacation, which is in like Phoenix, Arizona area, their Goodwills are so, so good. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. Literally, I've been like reading through like the Impressionist stuff and like Monet's like pieces. Um, has helped me a lot more in a general sense of like not being afraid of like doing more research on color theory and so forth. So there's that. Yeah, there's nothing really more than that except for this janky sink over here. It's probably the scariest sink and the weirdest sink I've ever used in my life. How I don't think those two work, but this one works, so we use this one. I tried to clean it up as much as I like, could possible, but you know, you gotta you gotta use what you got. Okay, so there is one more I'm so sorry if this is shaky, but this is how we gotta do it. There is one more area I can show you guys, and that is the upstairs area that is super spooky. But why not? Let's just go up there. Maybe we'll find something interesting different this time. There's some like very old art pieces up there that students have left. And why not? Let's just go up there and have an adventure. This shows you even more like how much they use this as like a storage area. It's kind of sad. Like this is such a huge like workspace. <laughs> Look at this mess. Ugh. And then we have <laughs> The scary stairs. Okay, literally, my freaking battery had to die at the worst time. So we are going to run back here. Does this look like I should be in a horror film right now? Absolutely. But there's like some cool things in here. I don't know. You never know what you're gonna find, like a spider. Okay, we're not gonna look at that. What are these even? I don't know. They look a little abstract. Yes. This is what the audience wants. Pine cone in painting organizer. Other oh, like, Okay, outdoor like portable easels, which I think are so cool and nobody's using them. We have some really nice looking frames. This is new, unless I did not see this. Ooh, I might see if I can stretch some canvas on this. This is a really nice frame. Um, we have some like, I don't know, those are like wireframes for sculpting students. This is cool with a Mexican hat, sombrero. Absolutely love it. Love it. I found the rarest form of art there is. A still life original by nobody knows who. But we can tell there's some, there's some apples in a vase, you know? Aesthetically pleasing. Hmm. Ooh, and there's like a a portrait over there? Just gonna run away. Okay, like, come on. This is just to, like, show you how big this room is. And then I just have that little work area over there. Like, this could be so much more! Nice, we got some shop-built machines. We got a head. And another skeleton boy. That one looks pretty cool, though. He got some lips on him. Mwah. We're in a camera. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know. Um, that is my workspace here at school. <laughs> Nothing fancy for sure. You always thought like people who go to college for art, you got this fancy like workspace. I mean, I got lots of room, I'll have to say that at least, but it's it's unique. It's got its own like personality, okay? Uh, especially the back room, which is a little spooky at times, but we're just gonna ignore that it's there, you know? If you're wondering though, like what the whole BFA studio like stands for, if you're like not aware of anything, um, basically it is like, so I am a Bachelor of Fine Arts, so that's what the BFA stands for. And so they give fine art students um, studio space for their senior year when they are focusing on putting work for their show out when they graduate. So I am literally going to be graduating in the fall of this semester. I'm a senior. Yes, officially. 
I mean, I was technically like a senior last year, but because I'm like graduating early, so you know, nothing fancy. <laughs> I like its uniqueness to it, but I think that the school could definitely like clear this out and like use the space. Like, it's a very big area that they could be using. It's got some potential, you know? So anyways, that is literally it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a lovely day, lovely week, whatever you're doing. You know, the vibes. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!